Hi knitters, this is Susanna and I'd like to show you the setup of the Shisui Shrug. It's a shrug in two color brioche and first stitch. It can get the pattern on Ravelry and also on Love Knitting. Um, the shrug has an eye cord edge. You see here the eye cord binders, but it also has an edge all around the entire shrug. So you're going to start also uh, with an eye cord cast on. For this we need to provisionally cast on three stitches. I use waist yarn to crochet my stitches onto my needle. There is a tutorial for this on my website if you want to have a closer look on how this works. But it's super easy and neat and very easy to unravel which is great for a provisional cast on. I don't even use a crochet hook for these three stitches, um, fingers will do. If you do um, need to cast on more stitches, um, it's easier or faster with the crochet hook. Um, so this is my color A. It's the lighter color. In two color brioche, those always um, or usually looks better if you have the lighter color as your foreground color. Um, it just looks better. So you're gonna just um, knit a short eye cord. You knit those three stitches and slip them back onto the left needle and repeat. You're gonna turn your book for um, for this. You just repeat this a couple of times, and it's better if it's not very neat and tidy, but if you have loose stitches. That way, your eye cord won't be too tight, but will have a little give. Um, so that's already enough. And I'm gonna turn it, and I leave this column of stitches intact, and pick up a stitch from back there. So you see this last stitch column is still intact and that's my picked up stitch. And then I hold on tight to those stitches here and pull on my waist yarn to unravel this provisional cast on. You see how easy it zips up? And just get rid of that waist yarn here. And then I'm just going to place those stitches on my needle. They're not on the way they're supposed to go on, just to secure them. So this is just to secure those stitches. That's the tail end that goes into the back. And the working yarn goes between those two needles the front because you're going to need this in the next round. So what you're going to do now is this is the one is, is the stitch you need to work first, the first stitch you need to work in your setup round, um, wrong side setup round. So this needs to be on the very edge of this needle and the way you do it is you turn this needle the left needle and then you slip the stitches onto your right needle from in the reverse order. So you're gonna slip the one in the back first, then the middle one and then this last one and then you pull the needle out. And if you turn this now you have that stitch on the very edge. It looks messed up right now, but that's actually the way it needs to go on. Okay, so now, now ready to work the setup row of the eye cord cast on. You knit the first three stitches. You always knit the first three stitches for the eye cord edge. And then we need to set up our brioche stitch. That's um, we do that by slipping one yarn over. So you have the yarn in front of your work. And then you slip the stitch and the your yarn will over at the same time. And then we need to slip our last three stitches with yarn in front. 
So you bring the yarn back to the front and slip those last three stitches. Um, so that's the uh, eye crit cast on completed. And we're gonna now start with uh, setting up the shrug. We are ready with uh, working with our color A. And we are gonna knit this um, eye crit stitches. Also here again, make sure they're not too tight because eye crit doesn't have a lot of give. You need to make sure the stitches are loose enough so that um, even after blocking, it doesn't pull on too tight. So those three stitches we knit, and then we start here our brioche section with a four stitch increase. Um, it's not as difficult as it sounds, or it doesn't really sound difficult at all. So it, you have the stitch with the yarn over, and you knit those two together. That's a brioche knit, and you leave the stitch on your left needle and do it yarn over. And then you knit the brioche stitch again, leave it on the needle, yarn over again, and brioche knit one last time. And then you pull it off. So now we have five stitches instead of the one we had before. Then bring the yarn to front again and slip those last three stitches with yarn in front. In two color brioche, you always knit a right side row with your foreground color followed by another right side row with your background color and then a wrong side row with your foreground color and the wrong side row with your background color. So you're going to slip those stitches on the other side of the needle to book another right side row with your background color. It's called row 1 light side and we're booking with dark color. So row 1 light side dark color. Again, knit those first, first three stitches, and then we already add this increase. And the first is a slip on your nova. The next is a pull stitch. I, my pull stitches, I look weird, but you just can do it however you do it. And then there's another slip on your nova, and another pull, and then another slip on your nova. And then you bring the yarn to the front of your book again and slip those last three stitches with the yarn in front of the book. And now we're ready to turn and work the first dark side row, wrong side row, with your light color. Start again um, working the, the light color. Knit those first three stitches and then we have a brioche pull. Um, very simple, you pull stitch together with the yarn over. That's all there is to it. Then you do a slip one yarn over, another brioche pull, slip one yarn over, another brioche pull. And bring or leave the yarn in front and slip those last three stitches. And we're going to slip all the stitches again on the other side of the needle and work another wrong side row or um, dark side row with your dark color. So knit three, slip one yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over, brioche knit, slip one yarn over. Then bring the yarn to the front of the book again and slip those last three stitches with the yarn in front. Okay, so you're going to see already a little bit of um, setup, brioche setup, and now we're going to start um, setting up for the garter stitch sections. And I'm going to place some markers. So this is um, a light side row, light side, light color. You knit those first three stitches again. And then we have a brioche knit. 
and then we're going to place a marker. I always just use those um, leftover yarn thingies. Um, they don't really, you don't feel them in your hands, but you still see where you need to do something. Um, so now we're going to do a KFB, knit into the front and back of the stitch. You knit the stitch, leave it on the needle, and knit again through the back loop. And then we're going to place another marker and repeat those two. Brioche knit, place marker, and another KFB. Knit through the front and back of the stitch. And then we're going to place the last marker. And then a final British knit. Bring the yarn to the front and slip those last three stitches. We're going to slip all the stitches back on to, to the other side of the needle and work another light side row with our dark color. Knit those first three stitches again. Here you see this is the um, knit column of your brioche in the light color so you need if you're working with your dark color you need to slip one yarn over here slip the marker and this is um, already the setup of the gunner stitch section so we need to pull those two stitches slip the marker again this is another brioche knit column in the light side so we need to do a slip one yarn over here. Slip the marker. Again, that's going to be garter stitch, so we need to pull these two. Slip the marker and the last brioche knit column in color A. So we need to slip one yarn over. And slip those last three stitches with the yarn in front. Turn work. And now we're going to work a dark side light color row. There's no increases or decreases or anything on um, dark side rows. So we can just knit, knit this or work this. So three um, knit stitches, a brioche pull, slip the marker, brioche, um, sorry, pull those two stitches, slip the marker, a brioche pull, slip, pull. So the only difference between pulling and brioche pulling is that you in brioche pulling you pull the stitch together with this yarn over but otherwise they work just the same and then slip those last three stitches and again another dark side row with a dark color this time so you knit those first three slip one yarn over slip marker, knit those two, slip marker, slip one yarn over, slip marker, knit those two, slip one yarn over, here in the last stitch and bring the yarn to the front and slip those last three stitches with the yarn in front. So now you can see the setup of your brioche stitch and the garter stitch in between. I'm going to show you also um, how to set up the um, yarn over holes here in the next step. That's already the um, first rows of the next section. And we're all Again, starting with the uh, light side, light color row. We're gonna knit three stitches. And then there is a two stitch brioche increase. And that's, again, brioche knitting, leaving the stitch on the left needle, yarn over, and brioche knit that same stitch again. And you see the three stitches. Slip the marker, and now we're gonna make this yarn over hole. And we do this by knitting the first stitch, 
and then make a yarn over and then we place a marker and we do another yarn over so you see you have two yarn overs and the marker in between and then knit the last the next stitch slip the marker and this is the um, center spine that goes down the back and this is where you need to do uh, full stitch increases and for that we are also going to place a marker here so, obvious, so we always know where we're going to have to do those full stitch increases. Um, the pattern is going to tell you to knit to the marked stitch so you know this is the one. You brioche knit, do yarn over, brioche knit, yarn over and brioche knit again into the same stitch. So you have all those five stitches into that one center spine. You see how it may look a little holy or loose here? That's um, that's normal, that's fine. Because you're working with a full brioche stitch, a relatively large needle compared to the yarn weight. Um, that's also because the shrug is supposed to be um, light and airy and not as cushy as you might be um, accustomed to from brioche. And if you block it off the root, it's going to be um, very neat stitches and the light and airy shawl, or shrug in this case. Okay, so again, same setup as for the other side. Knit one, yarn over, place a marker, another yarn over, knit that stitch, slip marker, and we're going to do another brioche increase here. Slip, uh, knit yarn over and push knit. Bring the yarn to the front and slip those last three stitches. And the last thing I'm going to show you here is how to work over those yarn over holes in the following row. So again, a light side, dark color row. You knit those first three stitches. Then we are here at the um, first brioche increase. You're going to slip one yarn over the first stitch, pull the second, and slip one yarn over the next. Slip the marker, and then you are very close to this um, yarn over hole here. And this is going to be a um, garter stitch, so you need to pull up to the marker, slip the marker. And the next stitch is going to be a knit stitch because you can't, you have to have two yarn over here and you can't um, knit both or pull both of those. So you're going to have to pull one and knit the other. And the next stitch is going to be a pull one again. Slip the marker and here you are at the center spine, four stitch increase. You're going to slip one yarn over, pull one, slip one yarn over pull one, slip one yarn over, slip the marker and again pull up to the marker, you pull this first um, yarn over before the um, marker, slip the marker and knit the next stitch of the marker and then again pull that stitch, slip the marker again Slip one yarn over the first stitch of the increase, pull the next and slip one yarn over again. Bring the yarn to the front and slip the last three stitches. Okay, so that's um, the whole setup. You see here the brioche back forming. You have um, guarded sides and that's the brioche that's going to be in the front. And you see here that striped eye cord edges. Um, the, sh the shrug is going to look um, very similar in the back. It's just the um, dark color is going to be dominating, and here the um, light color is going to be dominating. But you can turn it um, inside out and work this that way as well. Um, however, you like it best, I guess. Okay, hope that helped you a lot with uh, getting started on your shrugs. Um, 
I'm gonna do another video for Brioche Basics that will also tell you or show you how to do decreases in Brioche. You're gonna, not gonna need it for Shrug, but if you're gonna do um, a shawl or any other Brioche project, it might be helpful as well. Okay, have fun knitting your Shrugs. It's such a comfy and casual um, garment. I love wearing it and I hope you love it too. Have fun knitting. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below or um, contact me on Ravelry in my group or email or on Instagram or however else you want to get in contact. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Bye!